Hi guys, I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make a two-headed dragon, two-jawed dragon, call whatever you want to call it. The main thing you want to need, you're going to need is eight pieces of paper. So you want to start folding it like this. Like that. You can fold that up if it's not even. And then you want to take glue and take glue and oops, take glue. I can't open it. Struggle. Struggle. Wait, well, if you don't have glue, then I would recommend to use tape. Okay, now that's very uneven, but okay. Um, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, where's my scissors? Up oh, there, there. <laughs> so there's, like, that sticking out there. What I do, I just cut that part off right there. And then right there. Oops. Right there. And then we're going to do this it on the side while we make our bottom base. Sorry. I'm gonna fold it like this. I'm gonna do the exact same, but maybe try and make this bottom go a little bit smaller. Oh, with the folding. That's what I was trying to say, like the smaller. I don't recommend the rolling technique because that part, that is not a good, good technique. There's a little bit of excess right there, so that's where I'm going to cut it off. Flip it around like that. Then, that's whenever you want to glue it also. We're basically just repeating the same steps, but twice. If you don't want to watch me repeat these same steps, steps twice, then you can just fast forward in the video, which I don't really mind, but unless you want to sit through the whole tutorial, then go ahead. And you want to trim the sides, just like you did with your first one. Okay. If you want to start this, you want to... Take it, make sure both of those are touching evenly like that. If there's like a little bubble, like a little spot like that. That's where you wanna push it out and push it as good as you can to the point where it's like at like a good point like that. You wanna set that one off to the side and then we're gonna make our smaller one. I'm gonna trim that like that, just a little bit. So it's smaller because it's going to be the bottom jaw. And then I'm going to do this. Fold it just like you did with your first one. Like that. Okay. I'm going to set those off to the side while we make the, make the other one. So the other one. Like that. We're just repeating the same step. Not steps, steps. And like I said earlier, just if you don't want to watch this part, then just rewind. Not rewind. Then just fast forward the video. my this table okay i use this to do crafts at so cut the sides so 
that off to the side. And then we want a colored piece of paper. Y'all may be thinking, this is too much paper or whatever. Just, it's not too much paper. It's just if you don't have enough paper, then just don't make it. So this is uneven right here, and I, and this is just a spot that is overlapping. So I'm not gonna fold that part over. I'm gonna trim it. Some people, if they're using tape, you can flip it over and then tape it all the way down. But if you're using glue, I would recommend you to cut off this little bit of access right here because nobody likes access things. glue just like I said. Make sure your glue is really locked up. Make sure to cut it. Okay, so if you want to cut a little bit off of this one and you want to fold it in half and if it's not even with the other one that's whenever you want to either trim the other one that we made or just trim this one if it's a little bit longer still so put two, both of the tips together hold on gotta push that down better They're a little uneven, so I'm going to put them both together and cut them like that to the point where they're even. See? Okay, then you want to sit this off to the side, both of the bottom bases of the jaw. Then you want to take this top base of the jaw, and this is whenever you want to fold it, just like you did the other one. So you want to measure it like this. See, I don't have to trim the, these because they're perfectly lined up. Okay. So now you want to take another piece of paper. You're going to need a pencil for this now. So take your paper, fold it in half taco style. Then you want to take your top jaw base, open it up as big as your hand, make sure your hand fits comfy in there. Well, you don't want it to be too large, so it's whenever you want to actually shorten it up because I forgot we're not making a dragon that's for your whole hand. You're making a two jaw, four jaw, I don't know. What to call it, dragon. So it may look a little funny, but whenever I cut it out, it's gonna look a lot better. While once you're done tracing, don't don't fully like trace your um, piece because if you do, then it might look a little funky, which you don't want. So what you want to make, what you want to do, is like trace around it, but don't fully like trace like up against it. Is what I was trying to say. So, once you're done with that, you wanna, there's, you should, you cut a little slit in the center right there of both of them. That's whenever you wanna fold them, like, in half. Like that. Just like that. And just make it with both sides. Fold both sides. Like that. And it should look like this. Then you want to flip it upside down like that, take your glue stick, and glue it. Oops. So then, while that's glued, this is what you want to do. You want to take it, flip it upside down like that, 
my first tutorial, I did wrong because that was not a good tutorial if you guys have already watched that, some of you guys. But if you want to make a two-headed tutorial, not tutorial, if y'all wanted to watch a how to make a two-jaw tutorial, then here it is. Make sure you have a lot of glue on your paper. Because if not, it won't stick, just like mine didn't a little bit ago. You may be thinking, that's really skinny. It shouldn't be skinny like that. Yes, it should be. Now, right in the center right there, your fingers may not fit. That's whenever you want to take a pencil that has like this kind of eraser on it or put an eraser like that on it and poke it. If not, just use this part of the pencil. But then you want to sit this off to the side that's part of the dragon it's not finished that part's not finished yet though then you want to take your other one I already have a slit in the center of it like that excuse my disgusting nails i was painting earlier Oops. you want to repeat the same thing that you did earlier A few minutes going up earlier. <laughs> it may rip, but that's okay. It'll still work. Because mine just ripped. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> See, as you can tell, mine just ripped, but it's okay. Make sure you fold it back like that. Try and fold it as much as you can back. It's okay if you get glue some glue on your hands. And then push on that like that. Like I said, with the pencil trick, I always use this whenever I make dragons now. If I, if I can't fit my fingers in, which most of the time I can't. That's what it should look like. To the point where you can fit one finger in like that. Because it's weirdly controlled. Don't ask me why it is. or Just, that's how it is. Because it has to go like that if you want it to be four drilled. Okay, so now I'm going to take another piece of paper. Fold it in half, just like we did the other one. Make sure it's like a good fold. And then you want to take your smaller jaw, smaller part of the jaw. And then you want to trace that also. If you're good at freehanding things, then you can go ahead and try and freehand this line right here. I'm pretty good at freehanding things, so that's why I freehanded that part. So. Cut that shape out of your trace. Then you want to fold it just like you did with the first one. And then glue it. Oops. And then you want to flip that upside down just like you did with the other one. We're basically just repeating these this those two steps twice just so we could get the one spot well the first draw down. Now this is like a pretty long part of the video, but if you wanna fast forward it, you can. But if you already know how to do the gluing and everything, then I would fast forward it. But Because this is the part that takes a little while. So I have to do this process all over again. But if this is your first time making like a dragon and this is a tutorial and you wanted to make a two-headed dragon, then I would recommend to not fast forward it. 
Okay, so now you're done with your two pieces. That's whenever you're gonna need tape. Doesn't matter what tape you use, this is just make sure that is it's pretty good quality tape. So whenever you wanna set your jaw, your bottom jaw on top of your top one. Then you wanna take a piece of tape. Oops. Cut a piece of tape. If that falls off like mine just did. Um you can stick the tape to your table, but you wanna tape it like that. Oh, that one spot was sticking out like that. But you're gonna need at least like three pieces of tape because you want it to stick well. Sorry, that my cat was jumping up on my window, so. Okay. Now, by the way, if I'm moving too fast for you guys, you can just pause the video and do it at your own pace. Alright, now the first jaw is done. You should have at least three pieces of tape. I know that one's going up on the top right there, but that's okay as long as it looks like this and you can fit your two fingers in like that because you're gonna have to use it like that. It's hard to control right now because it's not even fully put together, but you can put three fingers in if your fingers aren't big, like mine are. But, and then it should work like a dragon, like a regular dragon. Okay. Jeez, cat. Now, if you want to speed up this part of the video, just fast forward it because this is the part where we have to repeat that whole process that we just did. Now, if you're not fully sure on how to make it, I would recommend you to redo this. Well, just to make sure, put your two, put your middle and your point and your ring finger finger in to make sure that it's comfy for you if it's comfy for you then that's good and then if that's whenever you want to trace it if it's a little bit too small or a little bit too big then shrink it up or widen it up or widen it i make like two little like bumps i don't know i i call them little birds because I used to draw birds like that. <laughs> so you wanna set your scissors up to the side. Probably not going to talk much through this process, but you you want to fold it like that. And make sure it looks like that. Fold it and take it. Don't put it like that because then you're making a real big mistake, and then there's not going to be any room. Make sure it looks like that, though. Well, it not looks like that, but it's put like that. There go. And if you can't get the tip, which I usually can, I just squeeze the tip. And it sticks to the sides. I'm going to take your other piece of this. Set that off to the side. Set that off to the side. Fold it. Make sure, like I said a little while ago when I was making the first part of the base, you want to make sure that you have a lot of glue or else it won't stick very well. And if it doesn't stick very well, then it's going to fall apart, and which isn't good. 
So this is done. This is gonna fit like that. That's gonna fit like that, okay? And then you're gonna set that off to the side and then oops, take another piece of paper. This is gonna be your last piece of paper, which is your eighth piece. Fold it taco style. Make sure that fits your thumb. Wait, no, your pinky. Okay, that'd be comfortable. Like I said, make sure it's comfortable for you guys, but if it's not, then widen it or shorten it. Cut it out. Make sure it's out on the lines. If not, that's okay. But Gonna hold it like that. Oh, now that's a little bit too much of a fold. I'm gonna fold that like that. Make sure that's not sticking to the table if you have glue on it, which I have tape glue on my table right now because of working with glue for so much. It may look really super tiny. It's because it's supposed to fit, fit your pinky finger. That's why it's supposed to look, it's gonna look super tiny. You want to fold that. Flip it upside down, glue it, glue, glue, glue. Lathered, lather that baby on there. <laughs> Flip it upside down and stick it in with your other piece. Oops. Now, if it folds out like that, then that's whenever you wanna like push it back and like mold it out more into a triangle. Now, this part I can't really get with this part of the pencil, so I use the tip. It's a lot more skinnier and it fits better. And there's your bottom part, which is where your pinky's gonna go. Then you wanna take this, you want to sit your bottom jaw on your top. Maybe asking why I'm calling it a jaw, that's because both of them are jaws. And that's gonna fall. I had a feeling that was gonna fall. That's okay. I'm gonna cut that. This is the part where I recommended people to fast forward because a lot of people don't like to sit through the same process like over and over again. You want to have pretty long pieces of tape if you want it to stick good. This piece you're probably only going to need like, this is like going to be how it's going to be controlled. It's weird. It's weirdly controlled at the moment because it's not finished yet. But that's whenever you want to take both of your pieces. Oops. Set them up like this. Oops, that one, that's upside down. <laughs> Make sure they're all centered like that. Put them as close as you can together. Make sure the tips are even with each other. 
that's whenever you want to use tape again. You want to tape it across like that, and then on the bottom, like that too. This is the kind of difficult and tricky part. Because you gotta like hold that together with one hand, put that part of the tape down like that, and then tape it right there, which is really hard to do, and sometimes it messes up the whole dragon, which is not good. And. You want to take at least like three pieces of tape, if like so, and tape it like so. Now, if you don't have that much tape, then I would recommend to use like two pieces. I use three just to make sure that it stays together and it stays sturdy. And then you want to tape the bottom just like you taped the top. should start to look like that. I'm only gonna use two pieces of tape because this is like a smaller part and it stays sturdier, easier. That's what it should look like. This is what the front should look like. It may look a little weird, but that's okay. This is where your pointer finger goes, two of those fingers like this, and then it should go like that, and then it opens like that. The way you open it, you would use it to talk like that if you're like using it to like for a video or something. I know this part slides down, but that's okay. If you're using it to talk like that, then you would want to easily and like gently move it up, up and down. And then the way you would open it would just be spreading out all of your fingers, but not too much. Because if you spread it out too much, then your all of your fingers are going to mo move it and then push especially your pinky finger, it'll push out through that and then it'll ruin the whole thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it helped you guys out and have an amazing rest of you guys' day. Bye.